Hey guys, it's Art Weston. I'm going to be doing a test today on the line strength of Seaguar's uh, Fluoro Premier Fluorocarbon, an 80 pound. Um, this one's been an interesting uh, line for me. I've actually tested uh, it twice before. Um, earlier, I tested it uh, dry, which is just straight, straight from the spool. And it way over tested its line rating at 87.4 pounds. Um, this claims it's IGFA rated, which means it has to be below um, 81.57 pounds. And so that was way over that. Then um, I soaked it like the IGFA does for two hours. Uh, that tends to degrade line strength, um, uh, but usually not by that much. Um, but the, that sample uh, broke at 66.8 pounds. Um, you know, versus the 87 pounds. So that's significant and below the IGFA uh, maximum and more in line with the line diameter of 0.77 millimeters uh, for this particular line. So um, I re-soaked another line to try the second uh, wet test. Um, it's set up here on the digital force gauge with the bollard system. So I'm gonna check that again. Um, one thing to note, it's gonna take uh, a lot to break this line. It's very stretchy, so the gauge is gonna basically go all the way to the top. I'm gonna to get um, to the side and behind of the machine just to make it as fast and as efficient as possible. Um, we'll see how it goes. The last time I did the wet test, it, it had a really loud, in a way, explosion. Um, when the line broke, and I don't know if you can tell uh, with that, but that's how it looked. It just kind of exploded, which is kind of cool. All right, so let's see how it does. I actually can't <laughs> read the screen there from on the video, so I'll have to read it at the end. But it's got a ways to go, I'm sure you guys are probably seeing it as it goes up. But it has to go almost to the top. Yeah, I'm just interested in understanding how much um, water affects this fluorocarbon line. If it does like the first wet test, it's you know something I haven't understood before, which is gonna be a fairly significant finding. Should be soon. There we go. That was also a nice explosion. Okay, 87 pounds, so... Um, that is more in line uh, with the dry test. So um, I had, like I said, the first dry test at 87.4. I actually did a second dry test, which I hadn't mentioned at 86.4. So just a pound difference there. This one's 87 uh, wet and the other one was 66.8. But like I said, that one had kind of a lot loud explosion uh, sound and, and just how it uh, exploded like that. My guess is that's an anomaly. Um, so, you know, I, this is a very expensive line. I don't know if I want to just test the whole spool because um, I only got um, 25 yards in it. But uh, anyhow, um, yeah, way over testing the IGFA standards for, for 80 pound on both a wet and a dry test. It says IGFA rated, so that's a concern. Um, if I have other um, versions of this line, which I think I do at lower pound tests, I'll see if uh, there's a similar issue with that. Thanks, guys.